Hey guys, so this is a video I recorded a little while back of me going on a 24 hour walk, obviously. And I'm posting it now because I didn't have any reason to post it then. But now there's a, there's this challenge called the four by four by 48 challenge. And basically you run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. It's, uh, I heard about it on the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> Sounded interesting to me. It's to raise money for charity. So I'll leave information on the charities I want you to donate to in the description of the, of the video. Anyway, I'm posting this now because that, the challenge is coming up. It's gonna be from March 5th to March 7th. Every four hours, four miles for 48 hours. I look forward to it and also dread it. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, um, in my infinite boredom I came with a really, really great idea to continually walk for 24 hours from this midnight until tomorrow night's midnight. So I'll keep you updated on that. This is officially 12 a.m. So we are going. Gotta get my flashlight. Wish me luck. We're rolling. And uh, my watch has finally picked it up. Oh, there it goes. So expect the rest of the footage from now on to be shaky. Shaky as hell. Just got off the phone with my friend Taylor. He uh, offered some words of encouragement. And I had to go back to the house because my old flashlight died immediately. My phone also died at 80%. So that's great, great stuff. Um, I'm currently in a field somewhere. I see some random lights around. Not really, not really sure whose property this is, but you know, I'm walking, so what are they going to do? So I'm heading to Atkinson Dam. I think that's what it's called. Um, and <laughs> Some guy just drove by me. He like stopped right near me and gave me the strangest look. Poor guy. He has no idea what I'm going through. You know, this, this is intense. We are here now and we have just reached 10,000 steps. The secondary goal is to get 100,000 steps before the day is over. But we're still going for the 24 hours first. If I fail that, which I likely will, we'll be going for... Um, 100,000 steps. Down here at the bottom of the dam now. It's a really cool view, not that you can see anything. A little sketchy, a little slippery. So if I stop updating, you know I'd slip and die in the dam. I'm on the road again. So I think I might be heading maybe maybe into downtown Bel Air. And um if I stop updating now, it's because I got run down by a semi. People people must be doing a lot of boozing on the road because I swear you can't walk 10 feet without finding another bottle of uh, alcohol. I mean, this one, look at this one. This one even looks cool. What is that? Black Spice Rum? So they threw that out their window anyway. Damn. Stumble upon a house under construction. Seems I can get in over this way. Let's see what we got. Very cool standard stuff. They got the Tyvek wrap. Nice little board here for walking up. Oh, that's a little loud. There are people right next to me. Um, spooky basement? Check. Yeah, I'm going in it. Shout out to Ian for having some uh, vital electrical lines down in the driveway and um, letting me hit his mailbox one time. I have no idea what they are, but it's pretty big though. Pretty cool. First of all, small change plans. 
I gotta go home and my feet are soaked, so I gotta figure out how to change socks while walking and get my shoes off while walking. Um, second of all, we are one sixth of the way there, baby. It is 4 a.m. You know what that means? It means I gotta do it five more times. Gosh, a little bit of, a little bit of fuel. Mm. Mm. That's good stuff. What do we got? I walk around with my water filled up. Mm. A little bit of the nectar of life. Oh shit. Ever tried slack lining in wet boots? Oh god, I hope not because it's really unproductive. Alright. Got some crackers. Got my gloves. I got everything I need. Um. I guess I'll be on the road again. I gotta get my headlamp back on. But well, that shouldn't be a problem. All right, let's get going. Taking the scenic route through the barn. I never hang out with the horses. And I'm sorry, I didn't want to shine that bright light in their eyes. Sorry guys, I feel bad now. I was gonna say today was gonna be the day, but they're all looking away because I'm hurting their eyeballs. First of all, the answer is yes. I, I decided the answer was yes. And second of all, this tree is the sketchiest tree I've ever caught in my entire life. I'm, I'm, I, it has to be held up by, purely by ivy and nothing else. It's absurd. I have two very important announcements to make. First of all, Belvita breakfast cookies are the best thing I've ever eaten. Second of all, I dropped a black leather glove on the ground at some point. I don't know where it is. I'm looking for it. Let me go That's a loud sound. Anyway. Hobie. Oh wait, am I allowed to say that? Pretty sure it's a misdemeanor to be out in public right now. So, I'm thinking go to Annie's playground and just walk along. Who are you? Just walk along, um, that trail they got there, because it's gonna it's gonna be daytime relatively soon. I know there's a moon behind me, but the moon's out during the day. Uh, I forgot I had a second of all. Second of all, I'm sorry, mom. I'm gonna walk on the road <laughs> more. Um, I'm staying a nice distance from the road, so don't don't be too don't be too upset with me, mom. Thanks. I'm really really hoping that time passes a lot faster um, during daytime was bright out because I have completely lost track of how many days it's been already I've been out here a long time it's a real shame I couldn't go to Wawa I was really craving something <sighs> another one of those if I don't come back things you know what happened very cool. I'm not going back there. Yeah. Hey. Ooh. Booze. Joy to the world. It is a absolutely beautiful morning. I hope you get up and out of bed and you go outside and you appreciate it because it's beautiful god here i am at annie's we're uh hanging out i would go on the playground but it seems to be completely taped off maybe i'll maybe i'll go on later you know maybe it's currently the coldest well i'm currently the coldest i have been since i started this like i, I can't feel my feet I'm pretty sure a couple fingers have detached inside of that glove. And worst of all, my nips are hard. Alright, it's learning time. Uh, let's start with the first one. What color is a gray squirrel's fur? Gray. What? I just want to make an update on how many steps we got. Coming in on 30,000, that about adds up. Keeps me on par. Oh, my shades? Yeah, I got them off the bench. Probably got COVID now, but you know, it was worth a joke. It was really funny. I saw a whole bunch of deer. Where'd they go? They're still up 
Oh, there's one. See him? Oh, there they go. There they go. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey, you. Oh, there's another. Where's the rest? Oh, oh. They just keep coming. Should I scare them? Come here. Come here. Come be my friend. My friends. What kind of sound is in here like? Listen, I got I got fresh grass. Okay, fire on out it. Oh, they're the back! Oh my god! Look at them! They came back! Hey guys! The gang's all here! You guys look really weird, I gotta be honest. You look mangy. Uh, no, no, they're just gonna slowly walk away, except for these ones. These ones aren't worried. Oh, where do they go? These ones aren't worried. <sighs> Boo! Morning as the sun came up and the jungle fires were burning. Down the track came a hobo hiking and he said, Boys, I'm not turning. There's a goose over there and they're the useless fucking wasps of the bird world. Get over here, you stupid goose. Go away. No, you can't hang out here. Go join up with your triangle buddies. Go, come on. Come on. Come on. This dude just passed me and I said good morning to him. He had this whole like military backpack. <laughs> Where are you going, man? This trail's like two miles long. I'm, I, you know what I have? I have a headlamp. I have a stick and a headlamp. Tunnel's got some nasty reverb. Oh! Go. See, look at all that cool shit. Made it out in the some neighborhood somewhere. I don't, know. don't really know what to say about it. I don't even know where to go. Just walked by my dad's friend. And he gave me one of the, the second strangest look I've gotten so far on my uh, journey here. It was just. Like, what? What are you, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, you know, just walking. Just walking. Just got a cookie. Went to Hannah's house. For a little bit. <sighs> she gave me water. Sustenance. I'm moving on. Found this nice shitty rope it's all tangled up over there so I cut it and I'm basically um, gonna try to try to find a good spot to make a rope swing but it doesn't seem to be any good spot Ooh, doesn't seem to be any, well I'll try that I'll try that started dragging my rope up yonder right behind that rock there I'll start climbing this rock right here this is what I did Whoa. hey Ooh. Hey, relax, man. Relax. Everything's fine, dude. Sorry. Hell yeah. Uh, kinda hell yeah. I'm now getting pretty tired. Not, not in like a way, more like a, like a sleepy way, like I haven't slept in a day. Well, this is it. We met the halfway mark. It's a lot more than I thought I was going to be able to do. We're, we're still cooking, we're still trucking along. I'm only going to do the whole thing twice, except it's more difficult because my feet start out in pain. Plus, I'm not one much for stealing. But these shoes right here are just kind of sitting here by the stop sign. I don't know what that's all about, man. They're, they're like filled with stuff, too. They have like 
tree residue, so I mean, I might, I might take those. So you know how Jeep people, they always wave at each other when they're driving by each other? Well, I just want to let you know that uh, Carhartt hat people do the same thing. So, you aren't special. Thank you. This is the second glove I have seen. First one was fingerless black leather, so that's a lot cooler. Also, the second I saw that stop sign over there, I immediately checked my cruise control and I realized that I didn't have cruise control and I'm not in the car. Coming up on the uh, Hornbeck residence, I've seen probably 10 separate gloves, two hats, and countless random assorted garbage. So if there's one uh, positive thing you learn out of this is, um, please just throw your trash away. Pretty old bamboo forest. Might steal a bamboo stick with a new walking stick because my old walking stick is fraying. We are nearing the final hours of uh, whatever goddamn day it is. Sun hangs low in the west. I got this, um, Jake brought me a blend, Rita's, it was Rita's, and I devoured it like a homeless man who's been living under the bridge for three years and never seen a Rita's. God, I've been living off the junk. I ran into Eric and he was deeply concerned for my well-being as a reasonable man should be. He didn't have, he wasn't aware of what I'm doing right now, though. He was like, you, do you need a ride, man? Like, you don't look so <laughs> I think I need to make my way back relatively quickly because if I don't, it's going to become midnight before I even get home and I'll be suffering even longer for no reason. I'm pretty sure I failed to explain just how horrible this uh, this thing is because I actually need this stick to walk at any kind of reasonable speed now. Like without it, I am stumbling all over the place and my, the bottom of my feet are, they, it feels like I have five or six random needles just jamming up in them every time I take a step, especially in the heel. And um, up in my knees, it hurts. Oh, that's great. Well, gentlemen, we did it. We walked for 24 hours straight, but I'm gonna walk more right now because I didn't get home on time. <laughs> I'm very unhappy about that. How does it feel to be a part of this, Jack? I haven't been here long, but all I can say is, I don't know why you did this. Okay, so I finally, I'm home, I took a, took a shower, I sat down, and I now appreciate sitting. The next morning. <laughs> Happy Easter. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for the 4x4x48, four by four by and we didn't figure anything out, but that's still the channel name, so...